YouTube. What is good? It is your boy back with another video. So guys, today's video, we're going to talk a little NBA. I'm going to go ahead and give you a list of my five favorite basketball players other than Michael Jordan that I liked watching growing up. And so let's go ahead and get into it. My five favorite players other than Michael Jordan. First, we have Hakeem the Dream Elijah Wood. He's a 12-time All-Star, a two-time total rebound champ, three-time block champ, two-time NBA champ, 12-time All-NBA, nine-time All-Defense. He was the 84-85 Rookie of the Year, two-time Defensive Player of the Year, two-time finals MVP and he also won the MVP in 93 and 94. So for me, uh, now this is no disrespect to Will Chamberlain or Kareem or anybody like that. To me, this is the best center of all time. And let me tell you why. I feel like Hakeem did a lot more with a lot less. Of course, he did get Clyde Drexler in his second championship, but Clyde Drexler was kind of towards the tail end of his career. So, you know, Hakeem did a lot of the heavy lifting. And other than Jordan, this guy was probably one of the most dominant unstoppable forces in the league around that time. And for me, he is my fifth favorite player of all time other than Jordan. Next up, you already know. Come on. It's Dirk Nowinski. Now, this man right here was a 12-time All-NBA 2011 NBA champion, a 14-time All-Star. He was the Finals MVP in the 2011 Finals, and he won MVP in 2006-2007. I mean, come on, what else is there to say about this man? He has a signature, one of the most unstoppable signature shots of all time, the one legged fadeaway that a lot of players today are still mimicking. This man put this whole entire Dallas franchise on his back and carried them as far as they've gotten now. To, to respectability, could have won a few more championships, but that's a debate for another day. But for me, this man is probably, if you, you throw in Akeem Olajuwon, one of the two best foreign players of all time, he's definitely the best European player of all time. And that's one Dirk Nowinski, one of my favorite players other than Michael Jordan. Guys, and up next, this is a player that you guys have heard me talk about so many times that I think even I've lost count. And it's my favorite player growing up of all time, Penny Anthony Hardaway. He is one of the best players that ever stepped foot on the court that never really got to his full potential. He's a four-time All-Star, a three-time All-NBA, and was also Rookie of the Year in 93 and 94. So for Penny, he's like I said, he's one of those players that if he did not get hurt, could have been a top 10 player of all time just with his potential. The man was a beast. Uh, I know you guys heard me say before on, on previous videos that he was the one man that Jordan truly respected to the point that he even wore one of his sneakers for one game. I mean, the guy was Magic Johnson 2.0. And I just really wish his career had a, you know, really just flourished the way that he started. But due to injuries, it, it kind of derailed him. And he we really never, we were really robbed of the chance of seeing him be the, the player that he could have been. But with that being said, Penny Hardaway is still one of my favorite players other than Michael Jordan. But up next, this player here is someone that I think a lot of people know about today. Um, not a lot, a lot of people know about, but I think you guys know who this player is. He's a coach now. But to me, he's one of the, the greatest point guards of all time. I think probably one of the most underrated when you start speaking of uh, some of the great point guards like, you know, John Stockton or Magic Johnson. And that's Jason Kidd. This man here was a 10-time All-Star, a five-time assist champ. He won the 2011 championship with the Dallas Mavericks. He was a six-time All-NBA, nine-time All-Defense, and he won co-rookie of the year in 94 and 95 and was also on the all-rookie team in 94 and 95. Listen, man, 
And this guy was probably one of the last, I mean, if you want to count Chris Paul, was one of the last traditional true point guards. I'm talking about a point guard that, that sets his teammates up pretty, and he also made his team better. This, this is why he's one of my favorite players of all time. Every team that Jason Kidd was on, they got better. You know, and so with that, I think that's, that's like an underrated thing of his. Uh, a lot of the players like the Kobe's and LeBron's talk about Jason Kidd so much, they really have mad respect for him because of what he does on the court. This man here to me, I mean, I know a lot of people have Magic Johnson, but with Jason Kidd, the way he carried the Nets to those back-to-back -back championship appearances, and the way that he elevated the Mavs to win and help him win a championship in 2011, man, I mean, what can you say? This man is a, he, he's a truth. I mean, I know that I know the truth is Paul Pierce's uh, nickname, but Jason Kidd was a bad boy, man. So that what makes him one of my favorite players other than Michael Jordan. Before I give you my last player, gotta give you an honorable mention here. All right, my honorable mention is a guy that was a lethal shooter back in the 90s. Uh, was pretty much the first to be a true shooter that could score in, a, uh, in various ways with his shot. And that's Reggie Miller. He was a five-time All-Star and a three-time All-NBA. And definitely he is in the Hall of Fame right now. Um, you know, we, we think of shooting, a lot of people think of uh, Seth. I mean, I'm sorry, but Seth. But Steph and maybe even Ray Allen to a degree. Right. But a lot of people don't remember... You know Reggie Miller, and the, the, like I said, the guy was a lethal shooter. Had the nickname Reggie Miller, the Nick Killer, for a reason. Uh, was a very clutch three-point shooter. Uh, one of my favorite players growing up uh, was one of the reasons why I changed my jersey number to 31 uh, because of the way he was he could score in you know, in various ways with his shooting. And uh, he he was probably the first to make three-point shooting prevalent. And like I said, that what makes him one of my favorite players to watch other than Michael Jordan. He was my honorable mention. Of course, I said five. So, but yeah, Reggie Miller, guys. If you don't know anything about him, you, you need to go ahead and YouTube him. Uh, I think Jordan talked a little bit about him in the documentary. So, yeah, that's respect right there, too. He's one of the few players that Jordan just mad respected because of his competitiveness and, uh, like I said, his, his tenacity and the way that he had to shoot. So, but yeah, Reggie Miller was, was my honorable mention. So let's go ahead and get into this last, the last player. If you guys have been following my videos and kind of, you know, checking out some of the sneakers that I like, that's a hint right there. You guys should already know who this last player is. And without any suspense being uh, had, let's go ahead and get into it. It is Allen Iverson, the answer. This man right here is a 11 time all-star. He's a four time scoring champ, three time steals champ, seven-time All-NBA. He was a Rookie of the Year in 96-97. He's a two-time All-Star MVP. He won the MVP in the 2000-2001 year, and he also won Rookie of the Year. And, I'm sorry, he was an All-Rookie team in 96 and 97. So, what is there to say about Allen Iverson other than probably the best pound-for-pound -pound player ever? Um, didn't work with a lot. Uh, carried that franchise, the Philadelphia 76ers, man, to back to the finals back in 2001. But you guys already know who he ran up against, the Lakers. Uh, Iverson changed the game, man. There's a lot of players uh, now that kind of give credit to Iverson for kind of helping establish uh, the way the league is now. Um, just players being themselves, expressing themselves in different ways, whether it be their clothing or their shoes or, you know, the way that they, you know, are with the media, you know what I mean? And then a lot of that was due to Iverson and a lot of those guys gave him the, pro the, well, the credit that he deserves, you know, because I know uh, back then it wasn't, it was kind of like you had to kind of stick to a certain script and Iverson didn't fit that mold. Iverson was going to be who he was whenever he, wherever he was, you know what I mean? And so with that being said, guys. Just his pure dominance on the court, man, the way he could score, his toughness. That's what makes Iverson one of my favorite players of uh, all time, other than Michael Jordan. And not only that, I'm a huge fan of his sneakers too, so that's a plus too. There you guys have it. Those are my five favorite players to rank ever, other than Michael Jordan. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And with more content, guys, please, Pretty, pretty, please. I'm begging to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm 
still a young and growing YouTube channel, so it would definitely help out with getting my channel, uh, well, my channel and my videos out there to other people to, for people to watch. And so, with that being said, guys, also comment down below. You know, will, who were your favorite players growing up watching? Who are your favorite players now? So just go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. And with that being said, guys, I hope you got a blessed day, and I will see you again very soon.